Our top story tonight, nearly 50 dogs found neglected and seized from a Monroe County home, and now two women are facing charges of animal abuse. This is new video you're seeing tonight from the Atlanta Humane Society as the animals were examined. Good Wednesday evening to you. Thanks for watching WGXA News at 10. I'm Aaron Leedy. WGXA's Jayla Whitfield went to the home where the animals were living in those deplorable conditions. Jayla. Aaron, only 43 out of the 44 dogs were rescued because one was already dead. The owner of the animals, Linda Cummings, agreed to give up all the dogs when authorities arrived to her home on Monday. And to make matters worse, her daughter is also facing a number of charges in connection to this crime. I was totally shocked because she's she's been raising and selling dogs for years, at least 10 years. Michael Sampler has been neighbors with Linda Cummings for nearly 20 years. No, she loves dogs. She's she's always took real good care of them. Sampler says he's been inside her home before, but it was nearly a year ago. She's got a place built back there just like a veterinarian's um, place. Authorities received a complaint of abandoned dogs, and on Monday, they conducted a search at Cummings' home on Unionville Road. They found dozens of dogs inside and outside the home in horrible conditions. 44 dogs were removed from the home, including one that didn't make it out alive. I'm just totally surprised that uh, it would go to you know that length. Cummings longtime neighbor had no idea of the conditions the animals were living in. He says she was a very private person. She installed that gate and, and kept it locked even before. She didn't want anybody over there. She wasn't there. Now Linda Cummings and her daughter Brandy Mazarka are behind bars faced with felony charges and 36 misdemeanor charges each. Now, the Atlanta Humane Society says their first priority is the health of the animals, and your support is needed. To find out how you can help, you can visit our website at WGXA.TV. But for now, in the studio, Jayla Woodfield.